Okay, tonight we are going to do something with the leftover Bush's chicken we had like two nights ago. I went ahead and uh, took it out of the refrigerator and stuck it in the microwave so it'll soften it up somewhat. And I am going to use the George Foreman grill, the lean, mean, fat grilling machine, and we are going to place it on there, each piece. Well, you know, several of them side by side. And, uh, let's see, we'll do these first. And we're going to grill them a little bit, crisp and, you know, make them a little bit more crispy. And then we're going to put Swiss cheese that we got from Maldi. We're going to put a slice of Swiss cheese on it to see how well it tastes. I know I just showed what's in our sink. It's sort of disgusting, but they've got to be washed. But anyway, I'm going to put you on pause. I've already got these in there, and they're working on it. And uh, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, I left it in there 10 minutes. It's a little bit brown, but I didn't properly let the thing heat up again uh, right before I put anything on there. So you can see that it turned it uh, a little bit more of a brown, which that's the way I like it. So I'm going to add my pieces of Swiss cheese to it. I don't put any salt or anything on there. I'm not a real big salter anything I'll put black pepper and the George Foreman grill automatically has a coating on it so it doesn't let the cheese stick at least it's not supposed to doing this one-handed sometimes is tricky All right, and I am going to stick this back down on it. We'll see just how much it ruins. <laughs> I'm probably going to make a mess. I've never done this before. Just experimenting. Remember Bush's chicken. That's that's like the best, unless you're up in Oklahoma City. Get Chicken Express, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I made a mess, but it sure does look good. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm just going to hold it down there a little bit longer. I love Swiss cheese. Grilled cheeses with Swiss cheese and sourdough bread. I've already made a video of that, which that is the best tasting grilled cheese that you could possibly have. Next, I'm going to experiment with the fries. We're going to heat them up on here, just see how well it does. doesn't hurt to try. French fries are, to me, are usually pretty wasted after you stick them in the refrigerator. They're hard to heat up unless you heat the oven up, and I just don't want to heat the oven up because it's a gas oven. And Oh, there we go, there we go. All right, leave it, leave it long enough. It doesn't stick to the top. That's what I wanted. Sure does smell good. Oh, my goodness. See, it took a bunch of it off. Who doesn't love burnt cheese? Oh my goodness. There. Finished product. I'm going to unplug it now. Always remember to unplug it. We will let it harden, sizzle down on the bottom. I can, you, you can see it sizzling through there. And then that way, when you start to take it off, it automatically all comes off in one chunk. Alright, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And try it yourself. Comment at the bottom if you like. Tell me what y'all, some of the weird things y'all cook and do with uh, George Foreman Grill. Keep it clean, though. Until next time, that's it.
拜。